We have developed a highly expandable foaming resin, which can be used to form large structures from a commercial off-the-shelf DLP or SLA printer. The resin is composed of a methacrylate monomer, a photo initiator, and a blowing agent. This blowing agent decomposes into large volumes of gas when it's heated. As the resin is printed, the polymer hardens in the pattern where light is projected onto it, trapping the blowing agent inside. After printing, the part is mechanically separated from the build plate. It is lightly cleaned by snapping off the support structure. Like in most 3D printers, the part size is limited by the printer's build volume. The small part is then transferred to an ordinary oven set to a carefully controlled temperature. As it heats, the blowing agent begins to release gas and the polymer begins to soften. Because these two effects occur simultaneously, it allows the resin to expand into a foam without losing its original shape. The structure can now be removed from the oven. It is safe to handle and extremely light, with properties comparable to that of styrofoam. Using our process, we have successfully formed a structure larger than the printer's build volume. The expansion ratio of the structures can be controlled by adjusting the print layer height or the layer exposure time. Here we see a number of samples with the same chemical composition expanding at different rates because they were printed with different parameters. Because of its light weight, it can be used as a buoyancy aid or in many applications where styrofoam is ordinarily used. It also may be useful for forming large structures on site such as wind turbine blades, which ordinarily are difficult to transport. In this demonstration, we show that our foaming resin can be used as a wind turbine material to generate a small amount of electricity. The material may also find uses in aerospace, where both large volume and weight add to the difficulty of logistics. Such a material could allow large structures to be printed and expanded on site rather than transported whole.